So this problem is leak code ID 1512, number of good pairs. So given an inter array of integers nums, a pair i and j is called good if nums at i is equal to nums at j and i is less than j. Return the number of good pairs. So this problem is one of the best problems to explain time complexity because intuitively a new programmer might think, okay, I'm just gonna get all the pairs uh, check if the numbers are equal and check if i is less than j and if so I'm just going to increment you know some count and that's fine it works but it's not good because it's n squared it's for every i we have to go through every other number so that would be n squared and there is a linear solution for this and we're going to go over that linear solution instead the the best interview solution that i can think of basically so what we first want to do is we want to create a hash map and this is going to be of type integer so it's going to map an integer to an integer we're going to call this map and we're going to say new hash map and then we also want to have a count which is going to be and then i'll actually call this res to make it more clear that's going to be the number of good pairs, the result basically. So I'll explain why we need a map, but it just works for this. Um, it's like it's like two sum, which is another problem I'll go over, uh, where you can optimize it with a map. Um, it's very similar. So basically, the idea here is we want to go through each num because we're going to have to do that regardless. So if we go through each num so what are we looking for here so we're looking for pairs that have the same number and we're looking for the i less than j so basically the number must come after its pair so because we're looping through nums in this way every number we access is greater than the index is greater than the last number we've seen so this condition is taken care of by default just the way that we are doing this and basically, we want to see um, how many numbers do we have that equal this num. So this is taking care of this nums i equals nums j case. So we're going to search our map. And how many numbers do we have of this num? And basically, how we do that is we're just going to check um, if map.contains key num, so have we seen this number before? Good. How many times have we seen it? So we're going to do map.get num. And this probably makes no sense because this is just like an empty hash map. So at the end here, we're going to actually go um, put num map.get or default um, num 0 plus 1. So basically, what's going on here, um, we're incrementing the count of this num. And why we do it this way is this getter default is because this num might not exist yet. So if it doesn't, uh, we're going to do zero. If it does exist, we're going to get the current count. And then whatever, whatever goes on here, we're just going to add another one to it. So basically, we're going through the nums. We're checking if this num already exists. Have we seen it? Can this make pairs is what we're asking. And if so, how many pairs can it make? And then we just increment this. Uh, we, we do this after we increment it because we don't want to count the current number as a pair because um, moving on to this test case to explain this further. So if we have this and we have one and we put it in the map, two, put two in the map, put three in the map, then we hit this one, um, there'll be one one in the map. So that makes one pair. So this one and one is a pair. It wouldn't be two pairs, it's just one pair. So that, that's kind of why we do all that. And let's go ahead and run this. And we'll see that we get accepted. And let's go ahead and submit it. We'll see we got 100% runtime. So pretty straightforward. Uh, this is an ON solution. It uses ON space, ON time. Because uh, we have to go through every num and we have to keep a map that stores the num. So. Yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, tried to make it as clear as possible. Pretty straightforward. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it as always.